objects. Objects are things. I, I'm not talking about object-oriented programming. Yeah, it's nothing to do with that. Objects, you could also say artifacts, apart from the fact that objects in rare occasions are not artifacts, but natural things. Right? So objects could be physical things. So this is an object, this little box that I'm using to, to step through my problem, right? But, but, but objects could all conceptual things, like, this, like, like messages. A message is an object, right? I, 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 a, a password is an object. A, a story, I, I, I tell you stories about El Hero. I tell this story all the time when I'm teaching task analysis. It's my story, right? I consider this story my possession, but it's not physical at all, right? Uh, the signatures are objects, gestures, right? So, so but only if objects can be shared between agents as a result of activity delegation, I'm modeling them. So when you are describing a task world, only describe objects that are used by people. This object, by the way, is used by me and by this machine here. So it makes sense to say this object is the way for me to communicate with my laptop and still be able to walk. Right? So, so but, but, but if not, don't describe it. It's, it's, it's a waste of, of effort to describe. But, but objects, if I provide you with a login and a password, and Teresa will do this in a couple of hours, then she is handling objects, which is uh, your ID, which will be something like your name, and a password that she makes up for you and that you could use or change if you want. But, but apart from Teresa and us, nobody else will ever use this website. Right. So, so, but this is an object. It's a physical object, no, but it will be mailed to you, and so you know how to log in and, and use the system. So, um, objects are related to roles in the sense of rights. So, an agent in a certain role may or may not inspect the object. If you want, each of you can keep your password secret for the website. And, and some groups, they don't care, and, they, and they just one of the group prints the list of passwords and hands it out. It's fine, right? It's up to you, right? So, but, but, but you could say, I, I only want myself to inspect the object, not even Teresa, which means you are immediately changing your password, which is fine. Um, change attribute values, right? So, so maybe uh, not, not everybody can declare that your password should be open to everyone. Maybe you can declare, my password is here, right? Put it open for everybody, but somebody else would not. Delete objects or, or keep a copy, right? So these are different types of rights, you could say, that, that, that different roles have different rights towards the same object. So I like, I like you to listen to my story, and you could even tell the story as long as you tell it's my story. Okay? So certain rights, but you cannot delete my story. And, 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 and I wouldn't like you to, uh, to change my story. Yeah? So it's for physical objects and for non-physical objects. And, and then there's interesting object. It, this is just part of an office, actually my office, that somebody photographed. And, and there's interesting things. There's a fax machine, which, which means I can, I can send a copy of a document to a, a different address. This is a machine that allows me to prepare an object to be combined with another object. I can make holes and then I have binders to combine these holes. And, and this one, um, uh, no, th this one is a step one. This combines objects in a way that it looks like it should not be taken apart again. Obviously you can take it apart, but when I use a paper clip, I put things together in a way that they can easily be separated. But, but if I staple them together, I, in a way, tell them, don't separate them. Uh, it, it's like having a file that you, uh, you uh, uh, broadcast as a Word file. Everybody can use it and change it. Or you broadcast as a PDF. Telling people you shouldn't change it. Well, I know, you can change PDFs, but originally you are not intended. You are not supposed to. Right? And, and these are, well, th this is a pile, but, but it's clear this pile is not for keeping things in order. <laughs> if I open the window, the order will be changed already. And, and sometimes I use just a paper weight, right? Something heavy to put things together for the moment, right? So this one is, is, is very open to change, and, and this I will 
prefer the wind not to change. So these are objects to temporary or fixed combine things or allow separation of them. Right? And we use this all the time in documents, in files, in electronic stuff. Right? And, and in stuff like, like the fax, which is a combination of a physical document and a at least this machine still allows physical documents to be faxed from. And nowadays we fax from our laptop and we don't never make, make a, a, a paper copy. Okay, events. Well, this is the final. An event is a, let me say, unexpected trigger for a task. An event is something that happens without me doing something to make it happen. If I press the button, I make this machine change, right? But, but if the machine would change without, like, like uh, it, it says over kubbles online or something, there was just a message from, from my, my Skype, right? And, and this is an event for me, because I didn't trigger this message to be there, but it tells me who of my friends or colleagues is online at the moment. So an event, it's unpredictable. It could be a shutdown of a file server or receive an invitation to write a chapter or reading a call for papers in a journal. These are things that happen to me. And, 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 and these trigger activities. So if, if I'm, well, if, if my job is to produce academic papers, which it is, th then, then this event would better trigger an activity or, or a task for me and say, oops, I should write a paper for this job. So, and, and, and uh, the problem is, if there's no agent appointed or feeling responsible for a certain type of event, then maybe nothing happens. Right? If there's a fire and everybody just runs out and nobody thinks it's my task to take the fire extinguisher and start uh, 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 fighting the fire, then problems will occur. So in a task situation, if there is the possibility for certain events, then there better be assigned an agent to take the role of taking that event. Well, we the 